this is the over tube. I had no idea what this was a year ago. So the end of your scope comes out here. And the reason that you need those two together is it kind of, uh, this is soft and squishy and it just it acts like a trocar. It makes it a little bit smoother. So it's bigger than a scope um, and your scope comes out here. So this is what I would recommend doing. Um, you, and this is how you're supposed to indicate to do this. You scope the patient because this is big and it's a little bit more rigid. You want to make sure there's not a flap or a fold or a cancer or something weird. And you scope the patient. You say esophagus is normal, stomach's normal. Hey, I see my hole. It's right there. You can, you know, uh, use cautery or whatever you want to do to your hole. You remove your scope. Then, then you put your scope in here without the padlock. Place this down, mouth, esophagus, into the stomach. Get it situated. Then you remove this part. And... Um, you remove this part and you don't need this anymore unless you got to go back in. So now you have, now it says it's got measurements. So you can leave this, you know, right by your defect. You have this other part. See this? This is just, this is like your one way valve on your trocar, uh, except it's soft and squishy. So your scope can go through it. You screw this in and then this will keep your, uh, insufflation in your valve. 